So today I'm here at Yogles Bagels with Nathan Friesen. I'm the co-owner of Yogles Bagels. Basically what we do as a company is we provide our customers with healthy and delicious bagels. Our kind of main uh, value proposition is that our bagels are half the calories, half the carbs, and higher in protein than traditional bagel. We really believe that eating uh, a balanced diet is is an important thing. We really believe that by providing like a product that n not only is good for you but also actually tastes good is something that we're really passionate about. Uh, what gave you the idea to start the company? In 2020, we were kind of in the middle of the pandemic and Cindy, my co-owner of the company, was um, kind of playing around with some healthy recipes and she uh, stumbled across some bagels that use Greek yogurt. Uh, so we decided to kind of take that and run with it. We kind of landed on a recipe that we were really happy with, uh, something that was like tasted really good and had like all the health benefits that we were looking for in a bagel. We, we decided to turn it into a company, kind of bring our bagels that we were eating ourselves to the world, or at least London, Ontario for now. What was it like starting it during the middle of the pandemic? It had its pros and cons. I mean, it was definitely uh, like we kind of started as an e-commerce brand, just selling exclusively online. Uh, so that was probably helped uh, by the pandemic just because a lot of people were like a lot of people are shifting their buying habits online. And so that kind of like it wasn't so weird for people to be buying bagels online as we kind of grew and we we started getting like a physical location and stuff we kind of had low expectations and like a low baseline uh which was nice because like we we're we we're doing fairly well uh growing at like a pretty consistent pace and like there was definitely times where like things got slow especially when it was like we were opening up and then locked down and then felt like we were opening up and then another lockdown every time there was a lockdown it was like oh there goes half our sales and it felt like a lot of the progress um, that we were gaining and like the momentum we were gaining was just getting stopped by lockdowns. But I mean, in the end, I think we're, we're coming out in a good position um, and yeah, ready to kind of attack a post pandemic world. How has the first year been like for you? It's been good. I mean, it was definitely a lot of work and yeah, like the whole business has been built during a pandemic. So uh, it, was, it was pretty strange. Like I've had a business in the past um, and like the fact that people couldn't leave their homes was like never a consideration um, in that past business. So uh, just taking all like the regulations and everything that we had to kind of implement as a business into account as we were growing was definitely interesting. What flavors of bagels do you have? So we have three flavors. Uh, we have a jalapeno and cheese, uh, everything with rosemary and cinnamon and raisin. I would say jalapeno and cheese is probably our best seller. Um, it's also my favorite, so that might be why I kind of push it. We have a couple flavors in the works. Um, so definitely 2022, there'll be a lot more flavors. Yeah, so we have a booth in the Western Fair Market. Um, it's located at 900 King Street in London, Ontario. What does the future hold for the uh, company? Like we're really trying to grow online. Just uh, like we find that that's a, a great way to get our customers our bagels. Um, and then we also have plans of extending into local coffee shops and grocery stores as well. So today I got the Yogo bagels. Uh, you might have seen earlier that I had picked them up at the Western Fair Market. So I'm going to start with a jalapeno and cheese. I had already uh, pre-cut this one, so put that there. I'm going to try the everything in rosemary as well. I'm gonna cut this one in half, put half in the toaster, and then see how it tastes uh, with something on it and with it. So, gonna taste test them without uh, the jalapeno and cheese one. So 
Uh, I like that one. There's a huge uh, jalapeno taste. Not sure if I really tasted the cheese, but other than that, it's good. Everything and rosemary. That one tastes a lot better with, I think, nothing on it, so now it's time to try it once they've been toasted. These ones I'm actually going to put butter on it. Start with the uh, jalapeno and cheddar again. I might not actually just finish this. Find that jalapeno is more subtle if you have if you have it toasted, which is perfectly fine. The cheese, uh, you could taste a little bit more. I'm finding so. Now for the uh, whatever this one is, uh, I think rosemary. Everything in rosemary. There we go. Really good. Um, <clears throat> I think that might be my favorite so far. It tastes just as good as it does on its own. So now I'm gonna try the newest flavor, cinnamon and raisin. There's no um, label on here, but that's fine. It smells cinnamon and raisiny. Cinnamon and raisin taste test without anything on it. Definitely can taste the cinnamon. We'll see how it tastes. Here's the taste test. Cinnamon raisin with butter. Okay, the cinnamon raisin one is my favorite. I've always been a fan of those. Um, so yeah, that would be no my number one choice. I really like that one, but they're all very good. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and we're gonna be doing more of these types of videos.